Well, netbadge.com is a is a personal start page. It's a it's the first uh, page that you should open when you uh, do your daily life. It's a page where you can add actually your email, your blog, your favorite podcast, post it, a bunch of different things that actually we call our digital life. And the idea with NetValue that instead of going to different sites and go one after the other, going to check your email, check your eBay account, check this and that, you can have everything set up in a page. The other thing that is interesting with NetValue is that basically you can move around the page everything you want. You can delete a module of NetValue if you don't like it. You can add, drag, uh, move around. And the idea is that you can actually integrate all the syndication uh, feeds from blogs, from newspaper. You can actually add the, the Guardian uh, news feed into NetVibe and check what are the latest news and click back to go to the, um, to the um, newspaper in a very easy way. So one of the things that I found interesting about your discussion was that um, whether it's adding a new language, uh, so you talked about Kenyans, um, or just even features, you actually open it up to your users. How do you yeah. do that? Exactly. When we started, actually, we were a very small team and we had so many things to do and everybody wanted to say, you should do that and that and that. So the only way you can actually organize things was to uh, give tools for our community to build with us the content. And one of the idea we had was, if we build services, we shouldn't like invent a service, uh, let's say, uh, a U.S. version of NetVibe, and then replicate in every country. What we should do is we should have bloggers, local evangelists of Web 2.0, or uh, people that uh, would like to have NetVibe translated in their country, contribute by translating, and also by selecting and proposing content. And we're trying to do this massive collaboration. Right now we have, I think, 300 people all over the, uh, the world, helping us setting up a NetVibe in Korea, in Japan, even in Kenya. We did. We want to do that in Kenya because we have 38 users in Kenya and we can do it. It doesn't cost much to do it. And I think um, another thing that is interesting is all the pages of NetVibe in, from different uh, countries are going to be totally different because the factors in the US, in Spain, in Germany, in the UK are totally different. And it's very interesting to see people collaborating and helping us building this tool uh, globally. So, so didn't I say that there was a wiki? Is that the main way that you use uh, the, that you collaborate with your users, or are there other ways? Uh, the, this was the first uh, tool we built a wiki. It means that uh, people even came to give requests about modules or uh, for also uh, press. They said, "I just wrote about an article on my blog. Here is the URL." So we had this global organization of content, and with the language, what we did is we created a tool that can let you translate anything from NetVibe in any language. And we didn't do that because we want to, you know, spare cost. But we want to be sure that we have the ability to translate NetVibe in any language. It means that if you want to do a Romanian version of NetVibe, a Spanish, uh, an Argentinian version of NetVibe, or a traditional Chinese, every time the product moves, because the product is moving fast, you have the ability to come to this live translation tool and, and, and correct, add, modify all the content. So we will probably even give the ability to translate lively blogs. So you I mean if you want to do um, the Chinese version of, of, uh, of this service or that service, you will be able to do it. I think it's very interesting to see users helping us and collaborating on this.